hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm just going to be showing you a quick and easy updo hairstyle that i do with my twist outs so first i'm just going to part my hair as you can see i'm separating the bangs from the rest of the hair <laughs> Then I just section off the rest of my hair to get ready for the twist. So the first product that I use, now this is my holy grail, y'all. I have used this forever since I've started going natural, really, but it's the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I've been switching it up and doing the liquid cream oil method just because to me it does make more sense because I usually use an oil to seal up my hair. So since I have low porosity hair and it's hard for moisture to get in, I always like to start out with the liquid, but then I follow up with the cream and seal it all with the oil. So the cream that I'm using is just this curl stretch pudding from Shea Moisture as well. Now y'all, this literally will stretch your hair. Then I take my vitamin E oil. I love using this oil on my hair. It's very light and I like to concentrate my oils at the ends of my hair. The last product that I put on is the coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse from Shea Moisture and I was trying to be cute and do something cute. That is the last thing I put on and basically that's what's going to hold the curl and like it says make sure that it's not frizzy. So once I'm done with all of my twists, I'll take the bang section and kind of section it out, do the same method, putting on all the products, brushing through. I'll just twist it up and what I'm gonna do is Bantu Knot twist now this is key you want to make sure that you're doing them not too tight because you don't want to put strain on your hair but tight enough so that they end up curling really really curly because my bangs are super long so I don't need them falling in my face <laughs> So then you just wanna put on your bonnet and go to sleep, girl, cause I know you're tired. So then in the morning, I actually, this was not the next morning. I had on a hat, so it, it might seem a little flat, but nonetheless, the next morning. So I just take the same vitamin E oil and I always make sure that my hands have oil on them or some type of moisture as I'm taking out my twist. This will make sure that your hair isn't as frizzy and it just is better for your hair, I feel like. It makes it shiny once it's all out. So as I take out the twist, I am picking it out. I was doing this just because, like I said, I was wearing a hat the other day, so I wanted to make sure that it wasn't all flat and stuff, but I always make sure to use a pick just to make sure that volume is there.
once I'm ready, add a little bit more oil and I take out the bangs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair up just to get it out of the way, but also to pick it out. I pick it out once it's up in the puff and then as you're gonna see later on in the video I'll redo that puff back there but for now I'm focused on the bangs and you want to make sure as you take down your hair in this style that you're curling the curl around your finger just to make sure that your hair is very defined a lot of you guys may know that my hair can get pretty frizzy and I kind of like it big and frizzy but for this style in particular, you really want those curls defined so it can give that messy look, but still a very put together look. You feel me? You know what I mean? Once the bangs are down, you're just going to see me kind of messing with my hair, trying to put it in the style that I want. And you could play around with this. It's really up to you how you want your hair to look. I like my little, my little bang bang things there down at the side. <laughs> and yes, we're just gonna do the puff again. And it's really simple. So then as you're gonna see, I'm picking out some more, just fluffing it out. You can never, pick too much but you do want to make sure that you're picking more so at the roots than at the ends so that your hair doesn't get frizzy you still want that definition so that's it for this hairstyle i hope you enjoyed watching me do my little messy cute but put together fun updo hairstyle this is so cute to wear for valentine's day as well you know that's coming up even if you don't have a valentine's day honey rock it subscribe like comment and turn that post notification bell on so you know when i upload and yeah stay blessed and stay sweet Mwah.